I know how it. I know it's going to work because the controller worked uh, from the start this time, and I un unconnected it. It's working. It's working. Welcome to Resident Evil 4 yet again, everybody. I'm a little tuned up from Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, and uh, my brain is a little bit scrambled, but I think this will be good. Even if the controller is automatically making Leon walk backwards again. Not even pressing any buttons on the controller. No, I'm good now. I just had to rotate it. I'm not even kidding. I just had to rotate it. Rot well, on today's Resident Evil, it's um, a really cool segment called Vinny Catches His Bearings and tries to remember what happened last time. So, oh, Mouse, Mouse Lee was kidnapped. I remember that. And it looks like we're going this way. Can I tell you, chat, I always forget that there's bugs in this game. I know this is the remake and everything, but I actually have yet again forgotten that there were bugs. Every playthrough. love that gyro aiming. That's why I will suffer through controller problems just to make sure it works because it's really good. And yes, I know mouse and keyboard is always the better way. I, I agree. But you know, the comfort of just being able to kind of chill with a controller, I enjoy for this at the moment. Vinny, do you like gyros or oh, gyros? Yeah, I do. I do. I like that white sauce, man. Whatever that is, the tzatziki sauce. Don't take that in a weird way. It's just good sauce. Gyros are awesome. I like chicken over rice. I like gyro. I like the sauce, the chicken, the lettuce, the tomato, the onion. I like all of it. Pita bread. You know what? There's this guy who does chicken and rice, and he puts. He, I do chicken and rice, and I get a little bit of the uh, the, the the pita on the side, and he puts it on on the grill. It just heats it up a little tiny bit, just so it gets a little tiny crispy. It's good. July, two years since my awakening. Master Ramon has bestowed upon me a truly righteous undertaking to improve upon my, the flaws of our human form, to seek perfection as observed in our anthropodal siblings. To this cause, I shall willingly devote my life. January, four years since my awakening. My efforts to transfuse the black liquid into the, into the body are at the precipice of success. The womb is key. The pure soul proves to be a highly malleable and adaptive subject. January, six years since my awakening. I have named these sacred larvae, carried in the wombs of the chosen, you too, after my own. There's Bono and the Edge. They shall carry... Is that UI2 or UI1? I don't know. You two? They shall carry the prestige of my family's name eh, as if I had spawned them of my own flesh. The U2 are now close to the size of adult humans and they continue to feed and multiply. I've successfully created a new species. Master Ramon has recognized my efforts and blessed me with his praise. He has taken to U2 calling them Avistador, meaning the unseen. 
I have been told that His Holiness Lord Sadler himself has also expressed pleasure with my work. What an extraordinary honor this is. I can hardly see the tip of my quill through the tears of joy. His humble servant, Is Isidro, Is Isidro. What? What are you talking about? It's not uh, Lord Sandler. I can't wait for the uh, SNL 94 remake of Resident Evil 4 with Adam Sandler as Lord Sadler. Uh, Chris Farley as Krauser. David Spade as Leon Kennedy. There's a live stream of Nick Apostolides. Apostolides? I don't know how to say his name. Apostoli anyway, the voice actor who plays Leon, he did a stream. Might have been yesterday or the day before, I forget. Where he had um, various other actors um, and people who worked on the game on his Twitch channel. Next. I didn't watch too much of it. I watched only a little. But I enjoyed. Oh, shit. Annoying, but not too hard to kill. The VA of poor Lewis gave Leon a handmade replica of Leon's knife. Pretty fucking sick. Wow. I have to say, there is some psychologically pleasing thing about a cast in a TV show or a game actually remaining friends and, like, having a good working relationship. I enjoy that. Um, my favorite is Star Trek The Next Generation. Obviously, some of the TF2 cast members, some of the Metal Gear cast members hang out, or at the very least, they're, you know, they make, like, videos together and stuff. Breaking Bad. Yeah, um... What's his name? Cranston. I was gonna call him Jesse Eisenberg. What the fuck is his name? Aaron Paul. Oh my god. Jesse Eisenberg. Like they're selling, um, they're selling like liquor together at the moment. They hang out. I forgot, there was some documentary I was watching about some other thing where the cast all had a great time and they got along and like the energy was infectious and it showed on screen. I don't remember what it was though. It's not always the case. Sometimes pure hatred can lead to great performances too. Oh well, Lord of the Rings. They they were all like really close, yeah. Surprised you said TNG and not DS9. Yeah, um, the TNG people are like godfathers and godmothers to each other's children. DS9, I don't think they were ever quite as close. I'm pretty sure they did get along, but I don't think it's the same energy like as uh, TNG. DS9 cast said it was weird until Michael Dorn came along. Well, if Michael Dorn just came off a show where everyone was laughing, having a good time, in between takes, they could barely be controlled because they were just making each other laugh like idiots all the time. And then he goes on to a more serious set. I would imagine he brought some of that energy. I'll 
I'll tell you a quick story. I know so many Star Trek fans in the audience, all of you. I know every one of you wants to hear this. Everyone wants to hear this. That's right, Jay. But even if you don't care about Star Trek, this is a good story. Um, so early on... Whoa. Early on in the Star Trek TNG show, Patrick Stewart... Is like a serious actor. He's he's done Royal Shakespeare Company. He's done some movies, but mainly Shakespearean trained actor. And um, the rest of the cast in season one, they were like you know making each other laugh. They were joking. They were like cracking up in between takes. And at one point, Patrick, who was not joining along, was like, "Damn it, we are here to work, not to laugh." And I think Denise Crosby said, I'll lighten up, Patrick. We got to have some fun. And then he did. And then he went from no fun allowed to being one of the biggest laughers on the entire set. So, just a fun little story. I like stories like that. Treasure. There's treasure in here. It's not treasure gourd, that's fucking soap on a rope. <laughs> Tell us another story. I'm um, sorry, I'm fresh out of stories. Fecal raid incoming. Oh boy, am I going to bring the energy down. Um, someone said something about Mark Hamill laughing on set while Alec Guinness was, was not. He was like having none of it. I mean, some of these actors had been working since the fucking 30s. Or like, I guess Alec Guinness was working since the 40s or whatever. So yeah, it's to me it's not a surprise that maybe he wouldn't want to uh, join in on the hee hee ha ha's. Also, thank you for the raid, Joel. I appreciate it. Hi, everyone. I guess, are you going from Resident Evil 4 to Resident Evil 4? Show Spermit? No, that's too cursed. What door did I open, chat? I, I seriously don't know what I opened. You play Monkey Game? Oh, I played Monkey Game too. I played uh, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Nothing yet. I thought I opened something with some kind of crank. I like I. Someone's hog got cranked. Here, let's try up here. Okay, even if I didn't uh, need to be up here, that is helpful. Didn't Harrison Ford hate Star Wars 2? I think he was just done with it. I don't think he hated it. I think he was just done after Empire. I think he wisely saw that the potential of his character was fulfilled. See you, Joel. Have a good night. And, uh, I don't know if he... I, I just don't know if he thought that there was anything more for Han Solo to do, but... I mean, he showed up to Mark Hamill's Hollywood Walk of Fame, like, star. Uh, he showed up to a lot of Star Wars events. I don't know how much money they gave him, but... 
I would say he probably just isn't a nerd about it, but I think he appreciates the opportunity it, give, it gave him. That's my guess. I could be wrong. And I think he probably also appreciated um, the depth that his character got in Empire. That's my... That's my educated guess, I suppose. But I know Harrison likes Indiana Jones a whole lot more. Like, he loves playing Indiana Jones uh, by his own omission. There was depth. Yeah, Empire had depth. Like, he had a character arc in A New Hope. And then Empire comes along. He's still a little selfish. But... Actually, no. He just says, I know. Never mind. In Jedi, he had nothing to do. What do you mean, nothing to do? He stood in front of a door. <laughs> oh, Mr. Kennedy, not much of a knight, are you? Your princess is a spirited individual. I must say, she gave us a considerable amount of trouble. Does anyone else hate Salazar? Someone said for actors, I would, I would imagine dealing with passionate fan base can also be exhausting. Well, if everyone just wants to ask you, like, what did Han Solo eat for dinner? Like, I don't know if that's the case, but... You know there are people that don't really have the social graces and there are also people that are very like they have a hard time distinguishing between the actor and the character and then there are probably people that just think that well he played Han Solo so he must know everything about him so I'm going to ask him questions I'm sure that gets tiring but who the fuck would have known that that movie would have blown up so big thank god for that yellow paint There's an interview I watched with him uh, recently for some of his new stuff, and he talked about not even privacy issues from Star Wars blowing up as much as it did, because that, that was, again, a phenomenon. That movie was huge, as you know. But more the anonymity. He wasn't prepared for losing his anonymity and just having people stare at you all the time. Cool. Guess I could have saved that. Shit, they broke free. How far are you in the game? I'm not 100% sure. I mean, based on my um, previous Resident Evil 4 experience, I'm going to say I'm a little over halfway through. They're actually attacking each other. 
Like, you can get them to hurt each other. It's great. There you go. Took that dude out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack each other. Yes. Good. Yes. Yeah, do that! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that motherfucker's still attacking the regular dudes. Clever as I thought I was. Yeah, 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 get fucked! They just keep coming, don't they? That's it, I'm out of knife. Knife ammo. Knife ammo is pulped. Kicked, even. They really hate those bells. Yeah, do that.
They have destroyed the bells. made grave mistakes. But it all worked out in the end. What was the, um, there was a clip from, from the Steamed Hams channel where they were talking about the flesh on the bone. Does, does anyone know what I'm talking about? Some crazy fucking thing. Ah, uh, yes, the meat bone. Flesh on the meat bone. Something wacky like that. I haven't really been keeping up with it, but there's been a couple good clips that have been sent my way. I, was like, <clears throat> I, I guess there's still new material and new weird paranormal phenomena to, to talk about somehow. <laughs> Leon, stop! No, don't come any closer. Are you hurt? Watch out! Please, do continue. I hate him. Do not resist, my dear. It serves only to make you suffer. All the worse. Please, please. You sick! Ah, uh, prune juice. Leon John Wick. No, it's okay. He's got epic Call of Duty gloves that he opened from a sick crate. So his his uh his hands are fine. Hang in there, Ashley. I'm coming for you.
Oh, hang on, chat wants the thing. All right. Where is it? And for laughing at that. Gave up the ghost, huh? Loading corridor. Talk about sticking the landing. Kind of cool how you talked about Indiana Jones in the cutscene is literally Temple of Doom. I would argue there's even a more Temple of Doom moment. And Indiana Jones influenced some of this game for sure. The original and and this one more than likely. Like the minecart segment is exactly that. Down to, like, finding treasure at the end of it. There's boulders early on in the game. You have to outrun them. Not in the remake, but, yeah. There's a lot of Indiana Jones DNA all over Leon's face. Don't know why I'm being gross tonight. What the hell? The slop machine. Ah, yes, the slop machine's got me acting out. Somewhat inappropriately, in fact. But don't worry about it. It's just Will. Oh, the wisp. I want to hear... What was the clip link? Hang on. Did anyone have a link to the meat bone? The, the flesh meat clip? Let's see. Sometimes the soul and the women break vases against the walls and the men drink too much and nobody finds the one. But keep looking, crawling in and out of beds Flesh covers the bone and the flesh searches for more than flesh. <laughs> uh, there's no chance at all. We are all trapped by a singular fate. Fate. Nobody ever finds uh, the one. The one. Hey. The city dumps fill, the junkyards fill, the madhouses fill, the hospitals fill, the graveyards fill. And that's the whole, that's the, that's the clip. Wow. I know it's almost cliche to say this, but things are getting real fucking weird lately, huh? I say shooting a giant bug. <laughs> the graveyards fill. have been disturbed. No! Oh boy, I really need some knife ammo. 
I think I have a couple of steak knives. Sure, I'm wasting a lot of bullets. Did I miss that treasure? That's the destination. Okay, I wasn't sure which way I was going. Kind of hard to tell in sewage. Why do sewer monsters hate Leon so much? Also, hey, Nick. Yeah, uh... I don't know. This seems to be a recurring thing in Leon's life. <laughs> Resident Evil 2? Sewers. Resident Evil 4, sewers. Here's a question. Resident Evil 6, the Leon segment, was he in a sewer at some point? I don't remember. He was. Confirmed. Yeah, this, this dude is just not living a good life. Leon, we chose you for this mission because of your prior experience. Huh? You mean the Raccoon City incident? No, Leon. The sewer. What? You're the best we've got at navigating poop. Another one dead. How long has it been since I was thrown down here? The meager scraps of food provided in the beginning are gone and they don't give us more. The pains of hunger and thirst are unbearable. Most have resorted to drinking the black water. The first to turn was Herminio. He was so weak, he could, couldn't even walk, and then suddenly became mad. But by the time his rampage ended, two were dead. I think we shouldn't drink that dark liquid. Deal? Deal? Dear Abelardo has also passed, though... You fought until the very end. The only thing I can do now is honor the bodies and pray that their souls find peace. Oh, Lord, why do you test us so? Leon thinking he's Chris Redfield here. I would probably pick one of these up if I was in this situation just because I, I like cool swords. It's like, oh, Leon, your knife is run out of ammo. All right, well, here's a rack of swords. Ashley, is that you? <laughs> Squeak once if yes. Is it just me or does this look like a face? Teeth, eyes, nose. What's that called? Paradolia? When you see um, faces in an in, in, inanimate object. Object? Well, it's nice to know that someone attempted to clean down here. I 
I think I know what they did. They brought it down here, they sprayed it on a couple of surfaces, and then they just gave up and left it there. <laughs> Power wash simulator DLC time. Oh god, no, please. Mm, I see you took care of a request. Well done. Hey, uh, what are you doing down here? <laughs> nice work. I got something new for you. But why are nothing? Killing me. Years haven't been kind to us, I suppose. Will that be all then? Give that the care it deserves. on sale, stranger. Pleasure doing business with you. Come Might not want to sell those right now. I might not have the uh, appropriate amount of uh, touchable mines. No? Uh, I might just sell those because I'm not really using them. Any time. Welcome. Well, I might not have the appropriate amount of, of uh, gems. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price, well, that's our choice to make. A deal well struck. <laughs> Will that be all then? Pleasant travel. So, okay, the crown, we, we actually do have enough gems for this. Right? Should I do two reds? Five colors, make it all different colors. Oh, I see. I see, I see the bonuses. Yep, five color bonus. Whoa, 100k. Let's see. So this is um, three color bonus is 42. But if we do a, a yellow and a blue, that's a three color bonus. This one, I need another one for. But you're using more expensive gems. You could do 8K if you do three red, two yellow on the crown. Let's see. Yeah. Now, would I want to do that and say not save my gems or what? It feels like a waste because you're using less valuable gems to get close to that amount. It's inefficient. I'm pretty okay with the 100k.
free color bonus. What if I did a blue over here? Oh, uh, the yellow is more valuable. Um, yes. All red on the Sphinx. Let's see. Three color bonus. 42k. I mean, good, good value. Hey, Vizito. Forty two K with cheapo three K gems. All right, yeah, that works for me. And I'll save this one. Unless unless No, I don't have what's required for that. So we're just gonna Welcome. save that one. Ashley is dying. Oh, she's eating some cheese. No Stranger. She's fine. Ooh, I'll pay a pretty penny for that. <laughs> a well tuned weapon can make up for a lack of skill. This kind of work is about finesse, stranger. Little bit goes a long way. You see. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> Our craftsmanship demands no less. Hell yeah, shotgun power. I just without the necessary ah. parts, I'm afraid we don't have a deal. I could have got the level five on the Red nine. If you want no, I'm not going to do the striker. Yeah, Maybe next playthrough, whenever that is. In a year, two years, three years, whatever. Anything else I can help you with? I'm just going with the weapons I like for now, and then you know, if I ever do another playthrough, I'll check Come out different ones. Any time. After all, I do have to see what the game is like on hardcore mode. immediately after you finish this one. Well, you joke, but... Welcome. Ooh, what you buying? You joke, but Resident Evil 2, I did that exact thing. Um, should I get some gunpowder? What's that? How have we procured these curiosities? <laughs> you don't want to know. There's resources here. What you see is what I've got. Save for exclusive ticket. There, I already got it. Unless another one. Oh, my back is killing me. Years haven't been kind to us, I suppose. There got will be. Selection. Next All right. time, then. All right, we're we're good for now. What other... Oh. More attempted cleaning materials. The fuck is that doing there? Emergency liquid nitrogen showers. Installation of the liquid nitrogen showers that were requested last month has been completed. I wasn't sure where it was going to shoot from. May, nine years since my awakening. Upon the release of this valve, black liquid shall enter my veins and circulate through my entire body. I expect this will be the most painful experience of my life. I await the trial with great anticipation. It is an honor to suffer through the holy labor of rebirth. The next time I awaken, it will be as a true servant of Master Ramon. I... Is it make this vow? I will surpass the limitations of men and become a true servant of God. I will find the heretics and serve as their executioner, their verdugo. 
<laughs> Got a lot of great things on sale, stranger. You know, I'm, I always loved Resident Evil 4, and I, I always wanted to play the merchant. <laughs> hey, stranger. Uh, I'll buy it at a high price. <laughs> These people are not right. A little different than the original where you knock over the canisters. Vinny, have you gotten your Grotto Beasts cards yet? No, not yet. There's no reason for me to press that button. Wow. Wow, Leon. Absolutely no reason for me to press that button yet again. Faster, faster. What's your move? Xenomorph. Dude. 
Hey, uh, if you could just give me a second here, I gotta grab a couple things. the game I paused it for just a second I paused it you saw that it did and then I pressed the button and it went out of the pause menu I went out of the pause menu it was there for a second but it went out of the pause menu fuck God. And I forgot there was a parry button again. I forgot there was a parry button. I'm not angry. I'm just... I pressed the pause button! What's your move? Can you even parry this dude? I guess so. You son of a bitch. Oh my god.
God, God, God Almighty, Almighty Lord, Almighty Lord. Fucking way. It's Finally, some peace and quiet. My condolences to your master. Did he really say like a 2020, 2022 phrase? That monster. No, this is true. No one has ever said hits different in the history of humanity up until the year 2020. Or whenever that phrase was first uttered on this planet. Um, I got this in here, right? Uh, there's a green herb. Killed him when he was still frozen and he fucking exploded. That's probably a nice visual. Missing a room? That red one, maybe? Well, I'm going to get the green herb. Yes, we say herb in the U.S. Whereas in the U.K., they just call it herb. In the U.S., if you were a herb, you were an undesirable fellow of ill repute. At least when I was growing up. If someone called you a herb, you were like, that's it. You were done. I remember when my class got mean. Huh. Won't open. How do you open this? Oh, you could just go in through here. I just remember like it was like fifth or sixth grade when people started calling each other scrubs and herbs. It was weird. Like we went away for the summer and everyone came back mean. I like I don't know what movie was out. Oh, this way. I don't know what people were watching. I don't know if like listening to me a certain thing or I don't know if MTV was telling people but I just remember like it was summer break I didn't see anyone <clears throat> come back everyone's a herb or a scrub or is doing the wrong thing and everyone just got mean it was weird I guess they were kind of <clears throat> mean as well kids are sinister with all that nowadays you know what's funny the word sinister I have a friend who is a teacher who is teaching young children and he is certainly not getting paid enough for it. Your suffering can end just as it has for our newest daughter who has joined us in communion and now she is of our flesh. Of our blood. My faithful disciple will show her the path. Go now. Deliver to these vagrant children their salvation. As you wish. Whoa. Well, I liked that performance better than the previous ones. Like, I like the original voice actor for that dude more, but... I'll make it cheap for you. I'm just used to it. Huh. 
but yeah, um, my friend that teaches uh, young kids the stories he has and just the lies and the, the like actual like sinister behavior. The word sinister came up in conversation about some of the stuff that they do to each other and like just psychological abuse. And I was thinking like, I know every generation thinks it's the worst and thinks it's the first or whatever. Maybe that's a song lyric. I think it is. Um, but when I was growing up, I feel like, yeah, calling each other herbs and scrubs and writing like shitty notes about each other and gossip. That was it. But I think with the phone and Fortnite, man, things just got real gross. Feeling better. Yeah, seems like it worked. They're getting more creative in their psychological Daniels, torture as years go by. Jesus. All right, let's just uh, enjoy Resident Evil, shall we? That's going to get depressing real quick. Don't worry about me. Ashley is the priority. In that case, we know what we have to do. Then come, Sancho Panta. Let us rescue the Princess Dulcinea. You can hurt yourself. Hey, that was my dance. Okay, we hurry. I get it. Why help me, though? What's in it for you? <laughs> no need to be suspicious. I said I'd help you, didn't I? Yeah, Don, Don Quixote. Oh, I, I'm, did I say it right? I don't know. Yeah, hey everyone, it's Don Qu Coyote. Uh, today was the worst day of my life. It's my daughter's fifth birthday, but here I am stuck on a mangy boat heading out to some backcountry dump. If it weren't for the pay, no one would be willing to work in the middle of nowhere. Those in the castle are always reminding us to take care during the excavation, but a few workers collapsed after inhaling some dust. There's something going on here that they're not telling us. There are too many secrets. I started coughing too. I should sleep. Something's really wrong with me. I threw up blood three more times today. I'm so weak I can barely move. Shit. I never should have come here. I came for the money, but instead, I'm the one paying the price. I'm a terrible father. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. You deserve better. Since morning, head to work. Why? More blood threw up. Many insects crawling. I hear a voice. A fine day to work. Digging brings me so much joy. I am full of happiness. I offer it all to you. Everything for you, Lord Sadler. Damn. I have some new goods that might interest you. Welcome. Ooh, what are you buying? That cash in your pocket? Oy. I don't always have this in stock, stranger. Gold token. Oh, shooting range stuff. Okay. Stranger. Ooh, I'll pay a pretty penny for we're starting to get an idea of your tastes. That's good work, if I do say so. Well then, we'll come back any time. <clears throat> There's more shooting range? Oh dear. Stranger, I've made a secret shooting area here in the bottom of this castle. Yeah, that's right, stranger, that's right. Congratulations, I've prepared a new game for you. I think you'll like this. <sighs> Having a hard time hitting a target, it's all about positioning, mate. Channel three, two, one. Don't go easy just because of the game. 
Oh, and we get Lewis commentary. Lewis. I see. You gotta be like real deliberate. Bonus condition is defeat all pirates in 10 shots or less. Already failed. Explosions hit the metals, but but they also defeat the um, the in innocent sailor friends. shot short. Oh, I got it. Perfect. My asshole, that was perfect. That wasn't perfect. One more time. Now it's perfect. Not every day I see a performance like that. Three, two, one, begin. Triple, look at this guy. Very good. Incredible. Superb shot. support section uh, what was the bonus condition you have a knack this, uh, destroy all pirates in 10 or less shots again okay Fuck. 
God damn it. Fungled. Fungled. How many shots was that? Like 12? Good work. A rifle can take out multiple. Three, two, one. Begin. Close. Good enough. And another Punisher one. Bonus condition, who knows? Ten shots or less again, yeah. Alright, relax. You you do it then. How? not One shot short. Waiting for the thing. I, I, you gotta be careful. You get fooled by the. Uh, fuck off. You get fooled sometimes by the dynamite. can afford to miss maybe one shot. I love how into it he's getting. Oh! Oh, shit! I did it. Good shooting, cowboy. I had fun just watching you work. Vinny, there was a raid? Oh, by whomst?
I missed it. I'm sorry. Uh, I was busy. Shoot. Kraken? Oh, I don't know if Kraken's still here, but thanks, Kraken. I always appreciate that. Kraken, Kraken's a good lad. I think he's gone now. <laughs> Check the clip, too. What clip? Here's a poem about my favorite evolution, Vaporian, with glistening fur and shimmering scales. No! No, no I that's paused a... the game! I paused it! We're going to go ahead and pass on that clip. However, I will show this cool video, which seems a lot more cool. No! No, I paused the game! I paused it! For just a second, I paused it. You saw that. It did, and then I pressed the button, and it went out of the pause menu. I went out of the pause menu. It was there for a second, but it went out of the pause menu. For just a second, I paused it. You saw that. It did, and then I pressed the button, and it went out of the pause menu. I went out of the pause menu. It was there for a second, but it went out of the pause. I'm just embarrassed for myself. Forty percent off resources. The speed of that edit is impressive. That I, I would have to agree with that. I'm Vin Shady. Yes, I'm the real Shady. One hundred percent health recovery for all egg types. Double, double cock. 15% bolts craft bonus frequency. Oh, man. I guess we can try to save Ashley. Welcome. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Oh, by well, well. I can certainly do something with this. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> no, Ashley, only cardboard pirates matter now. I mean, the merchant went well out of his way to get that thing set up and, you know, have flashing lights and sounds and rewards. The least I could do is humor him for a couple hours. Uh-oh, I'm dead. Lost Plagas. A little hard for me to put my faith in someone who used to work for Umbrella. So you heard, huh? Umbrella's done for you. You don't need to worry about them anymore. You didn't answer my question. What are you after? I just want to feel good about myself. Make amends. Or something like that. Wario's gold mine. Hey, since when was this a dead end? used to lead to the exit. Dynamite has been relocated to M4 storeroom. Cave-ins are frequent occurrence. Keep your distance from the blast zone. In the event of disaster, clean up immediately. Ensure adequate numbers of staff are on site. Hey, um, Kraken chat members. Uh, Looks like we've got company. What, what was that? Sing. What, do do? what was happening there? That weird thing that was going on. Nothing? Okay. He has donations TTS with his own voice. Oh, okay. Is 
is an AI Professor Oak that answers ethical questions on Pokemon. Fuck! Did you see that? How terrible is that luck? I can't tell you how many times I've done that in a video game, just held onto a grenade too long. If any help, that pirate penis music is stuck in my head now. Body armor's not looking great. Fuck's sake. Bingo. Yeah. Oh, bingo, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. What did he say? What? Oh, me hold us. What does that mean? Looks like we've got company. What do you want? Don't to fuck do? with me. It's used to respond to a ridiculously untrue statement. It's like, ah, oh, fuck. Here we go killing again.
That, that was so, such a good explosive. In the face with a shovel. You know what to do. Gonyo. Gonyo. Man, knives are amazing. They also break when stabbing like five things. Not, not unless you upgrade them. This was Luis's voice actor's first gig. First voice acting gig. Wow. Yeah, he did phenomenally well. And it also does sound like a real person. It's it's weird because on some level there's like something to be said about naturalistic. Just like, okay, here's not someone trying to act too hard. I don't know if that's the case here, but... I like what he's doing. Sometimes it's also just the tone. Like, again, I don't think that, Zach, right? the voice actor who did New Zach, was all that bad. Like, in, there were some lines that was that were really good, like, delivered really well. And then there were moments where it was very froggy. It's like a weird tone. Double kick. Nice. Oh god, we're we're in a This is not good. can parry the tentacles too? God damn it. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't choose hardcore mode because my, my reaction time is not great, but also you know, being more familiar with the game's mechanics after one playthrough I'd be good with a hardcore mode playthrough. I say good, but like, if I didn't have a million other things to play, I would start up a new one. When I finished Resident Evil 4 for the first time, like the GameCube one, I started up... Oh, that's what that does. I started up a new game immediately. I almost have never done that before. Like, I've done it for Zeldas, I've done it for a couple things, but usually I give it some time. I finish the game, and then just started up a new file.
I was like, oh, there's a whole bunch of different weapons I haven't used, and, uh... I really want to experience the beginning of the game again. What about a professional run? I don't remember if I've ever done professional. I'm... Ball blistering challenge. Yeah, should make quick work of that dead end. Sometimes I'm I'm uh, I'm down for it. Like Resident Evil 2 remake, I did uh, harder difficulty run. How do I get back up there? Oh, oh. Wait. Yeah. But uh, I don't really know if I like to start a game over with hard difficulty unless I really, really enjoy the gameplay. And sometimes when I play a game that's um, overly difficult, I start getting frustrated and then I don't, um, I don't want to continue playing. So I've started uh, very difficult playthroughs. <laughs> Just ignore that. I've started uh, very difficult playthroughs and then have gotten frustrated maybe halfway through. I'll give you uh, a good example. But this game played like a fucking broken fiddle. I don't know where that came from, but... Says the Elden Ring addict. Yeah, but I, I really enjoyed Elden Ring. The gameplay was a lot of fun for Elden Ring. But Star Wars... Um, Shadows of the Empire. I did the normal difficulty, and then I did the one above that, and then I tried to do a Jedi difficulty run. And I got to the Gal Space Station, well. the one with the, Bo the Boba Fett level, and I could never get past the Jetpack Canyon, and I just gave up. And I tried dozens of times, and I just sure said, fuck just this, I'm out. Searcher. I'm just an average guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. But the problem is, again, if, whoa, um, if a game is fun, I'm willing to stick with it sometimes. It depends on what, you know, what my current mood is. It depends on what other games I'm playing. And it depends on um, if I'm in the mood for punishment. But with Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, like I said, the controls for that game were ass. After you, I insist. Such a gentleman. Great, now I like Luis a whole lot more than I liked previous. So, god damn it. One down.
Well. Get him. What was, what was that angle? What was that angle? <laughs> Door camera. Yeah, the audio was muffled too. Uh, apparently that didn't happen to other people. Um, and you get an achievement for that, but I, I'll tell you the truth, chat. I have achievements turned off. Like I have the Steam overlay off, so I don't even know what achievements I'm getting in video games. I don't give a single fuck. <laughs> I give a little bit of a fuck. Okay, hang on. I don't want to come across as like, you know, a total edge lord. I'm only a little edgy, just a little. But I care to a small degree about achievements. Very small. I used to care more about achievements than I took an arrow to the knee. Huh? Ah, thank you very much. Someone said there was a hidden passage again. Get loot from second boss. Okay, I got the first loot already. That's Lewis's hole? The achievements in this game are named after original games quotes. It's pretty great. God damn it. Well, I keep Steam Overlay off for a number of good reasons. Because it gets annoying when I'm streaming and things pop up and it gets uh, in the way. Some games don't uh, have game capture. Vinny, why do you have two chicken nuggets in your inventory? Oh. Resource? Oh. Was that a uh, jape about a secret passage? Come on. Just the path Lewis took to get the dynamite. Oh. How's it look? All of the achievements are also in-game achievements, and you can see them in the challenges. No hot bath for you. Perfect game. Do my job. I mean, some of these seem... Uh, what are you buying? I see. There. It's open. Someone said they saw a chicken hat. What do you, what do you mean, chicken hat? Oh, spoil. Oh, I see. Over here, right? Complete the main story on hardcore mode with an S rank. Fuck you! Well, that was a pain. They're keeping those things cooped up down here, too? The underground here is sacred to them. See, this is where they discovered Las Platas. Observed inside ancient deposits of Ember. Of course they did. The 
achievement unlocked Jurassic Park. You're not suggesting we ride this thing. Do you see any other way? Leon got so mad, he's just stabbing buckets. Give us a push, Sancho! Who are you calling Sancho? <laughs> there! It's moving! This should speed things up a bit. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> hey, we're in a hurry, right? By the way, what now? Hope you like trail rides. Oh my god. Here we go. Here's Temple of Doom. We're going off the rails. I thought that said Leon for a second. I was like, yeah, that I'm Leon, correct. Fuck this, I'm using a mouse and keyboard for this part. Any missable gems here that I have to shoot? Chat? Someone said, imagine not using a mouse and keyboard on a shooter in general. Oh, man. I mean, if I was playing hardcore, if this happens, it's a shame, too, because I actually agree with the chat member. It's just the way the way people get about it makes it annoying. But I agree. We've been over this already, but yeah. This is the right way. I'll sum it up for anyone who hasn't watched. First person shooter, agree. I'll use a mouse and keyboard every time. Um, third person shooter, I usually like controller because it's just real comfortable. And gyro is, is uh, good. I like that. Things are just getting started. I hear a uh, doll. Yeah, if I was playing this on hardcore mode, I'd probably go over to mouse and keyboard. Almost definitely. I thought he just faced through a wall. He didn't. He did a, just a little phasing. Red Nine Gang.
There's a cool secret in the next part if you lean the wrong way on the first turn. That seems... That seems dumb. Alright. Let's go. Oh, not this again. <laughs> okay. Bleep. Well, that that was probably worth our time. Holy shit. Man, they, they went all out with the Minecraft sequence, huh? Minecart sequence too, but man, I really like when you get to dig. if you can shoot that from over here. No. No. No fucking way. Oh boy, they ragdoll. They ragdoll hard. Tried. You're using Lewis's pistol in this section for some reason. I noticed that because it only it has ten shots. And it's faster too. Yeah, and I hate it. Thanks. Give 
give us a three, two, one next time. Yes, I'm true. Uh, whatever. Oh, man. Hmm. But actually, this works. Oh, yeah. Let's get on that lift. Someone made a video when I was, um... I was joking around about how they should do the Smash Mouth song and make it look like an 80s sitcom. Someone made that. Oh, Give me a break. We can make it if we circle around. Come on. Pain in my ass. That is a catchy fucking song. Say what you will about Smash Mouth, and there's plenty to say, and I really... Like, I was, um... I was very... anti-Smash Mouth, and then I heard Astro Lounge and their first album, and I was like, hey, there's some good songs on here. And then I got made fun of for liking Smash Mouth, so then I never spoke of it again. But then All Star became a meme, and then, you know... Whoa! Yeah, no, I mean, Walking on the Sun is a pretty good song. And there's other good songs, but just in terms of, like, pure pop, like, songwriting with guitars, they had some songs that were just, like, easily hooky the first time you heard them, you remember them. I mean, the dude's voice is another thing entirely, and, of course, them as people, or him as people, if he is people, I'm not sure. Someone said, I get made fun of for liking Weezer. That doesn't seem embarrassing to me. In fact, a lot of the um, the cool music kids in my high school that are now like music adults still like Weezer, specifically uh, Pinkerton and Green Album or Blue Album, one of those, whatever the first one was. Blue was first, yeah. I, I may not love Weezer, but I do like a lot of their songs. I don't, I don't think... It's probably not a cool band to like on some level, but... I mean, could be worse. Could be Coldplay. Too many have lost their lives to the never-ending swarm of insects. Please destroy the entrances in their gigantic hive and save us from further tragedy. It was all yellow. Stars. God is dying for you. Someone said, I miss Vinny's old mic. I don't like change. I don't like it. <laughs> My old mic doesn't even know you exist, chat member. Listen, I'm being a jerk, but the truth is I still haven't fully tuned the mic the way I want it to be. As I've said before, I haven't had the chance. So I do think it's going to end up sounding... And to me, that was like... Overcompressed and, and just too um, harsh on, on, the, on the listening for extended periods of time. But people got used to it. I think... It, yeah, people just get used to things, and if, if they've been hearing me a certain way for years, of course they're going to get used to it. But I think that this microphone has potential to be even better. But anyway, um, Coldplay. Coldplay is another one of those bands that I also like. <laughs> I like their first couple albums, I do. How about you open fire instead of your mouth? So if you want to make fun of me for my new microphone or for my... Uh, Terrible commentary. I'm okay with that. But don't make fun of me for liking the first couple Coldplay albums. How dare you?
Where are these hives? Just one more nest. Have you heard the remaster of Muse's Origin of Symmetry? I like how Coldplay led us to Muse. Um, no, I haven't. I never really thought the album sounded bad. But, um, I, I just have not been in the mood to listen to Muse for the past ten years, I'm sorry to say. They do have some great tracks. I will die on that hill. I was really into Black Holes and Revelations, Origins of Symmetry, um, uh, Clusterfuck Bang. That was a good album. I Hate Mondays is another great Muse album. No, I like, um, what was the other one? Absolution? So yeah, there's there's good songs. Muse has some good songs. Even if even if um, people compare them to like you know Radiohead and Coldplay as a mix or whatever, I I just think that yeah they sound like those bands to a degree. And obviously the operatic quality of Queen, but. I don't know, I just haven't really liked a whole lot of anything they put out recently, but um, I did like those albums quite a bit. Oh, there's another treasure down there. Hang on. Hi, Dave. Why are Leon and Luis on Geonosis now? <laughs> they have to stop the Death Star from being built. What about Showbiz? Um, that one's got Muscle Museum on it, right? I know maybe one or two songs from Showbiz. I know about the Showbiz Pizza Bear. What are you doing down here, merchant? Oh, I see you took care of a request. Well done. Well done. You've proven yourself reliable. What can I interest you in? Thank you. Crossing your T's, dotting your I's. That's the way to be. Upgrade the knife, trust me. Okay. Um, someone said something about New Mars Volta. How do you, how do you feel about Come New back. Mars Volta? I did not like that New Mars Volta album. I really tried, did not care for it, wasn't for me. However, when I saw them live, they were great. And I, like last year, I saw them live and they, they were genuinely very, very good. I'll, uh, I'll wait until I have three red. We can do two yellow here. Any welcome. Got a selection of good things on a deal well struck. <laughs> Buy one red from trade shop. Um, I could do that. Oh, my back is killing me. Years haven't been kind to us, I suppose. Ticket costs forty. Now nah, someone wrote, "Now nah, that's bait." All right. That's about all I can do for this weapon. Increase attack speed oh. by 1.5 times. No, never mind. 
pleasant travel. Okay, I'm gonna, um, Chad, do I have the ability to get to, like, one more save point in ten minutes? Breaks over, I suppose. Okay, I just didn't want to have to, uh, rush, because I'm getting kind of tired. Yeah. Fuck was that, Leon? <laughs> Is he looking at the camera? Phew. I'm beat. Makes you appreciate tech like this. I don't get you. Why risk your life like this? You don't know us. I told you. It makes me feel better. Be straight with me for once. Los Illuminados. I was working for them. See? There you go. Helping the two of you doesn't make up for it. I know that, but still, I don't want anyone else to get hurt. In that case, you better get serious. <laughs> uh, harsh words for a squire. I think Where I just stabbed him. The fresh air is calling our names. For fin. Gus, we made it all this way. You know it means we're almost... Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. It was just set up like that. I was going to even say it out loud, and I should have. Louis! <laughs> Long time no see, rookie. Major Krauser? What the hell? Why? Recovering stolen goods. And killing a few rats along the way. Easy work. Ashley. It was you who catch him quick. Krauser is Ashley confirmed. Didn't I teach you? Knives are faster. This guy's the reason Leon can block a chainsaw with a knife. Awesome. Being controlled by Good that lighting. Uh, this is nothing to do with them. I'm a free man who made a choice. Uh. Uh. Too slow. Major, you're not thinking straight. My mind's clearer than it's ever been. Now focus and show me what you got. Like you. Why would you work for these freaks? Why? Have you forgotten what happened? Uh, Operation Javier. Uh, Operation Javier. Uh, Tired of it. I doubt it. Yeah. I think I did okay. Oh, boy, rookie. You haven't changed a damn bit. <laughs> what a disappointment. <laughs> I'm not looking 
<laughs> Finally learned how to parry. And such a loss to the ladies of the world. Oh man, I don't want Luis to die. Don't talk. No, seriously, stop Take talking. These. The key to my laboratory. Go there and remove those damn parasites. <coughs> Help. <coughs> Ashley. I'm gonna say that's a bad influence on the kids. You don't want to smoke in video games these days. You know, I led a pretty shitty life. But now, eh? <clears throat> what do you think, Leon? People can change, right? Oh, man. Well, that that sucks. I I like New Luis. I, I got really kind of invested in his bullshit. <laughs> Parry all of Jack Krauser's five consecutive attacks. Yeah, they, that was good. And having Krauser do the stabbing and giving him some last lines, I think, was really effective. And uh, even just having him sit there while you're shooting cardboard pirates. And uh, same for the, the minecart sequence. Like, I really, really enjoyed Luis and the new voice actor. And yeah, he was great. So that's that's uh, that's not fun to see. But I, it's makes you hate Krauser. Also, the parry system makes the knife fights way better. So I, I really like that fight. That was a lot of fun. All right, we're gonna stop here though. Uh, it's time for me to go. This this game. On Coyote. You I like how Leon let him have it. Sir. He was just like, you know what? <clears throat> sure. I'll be Sancho. Um, yeah, so there's things that this game does like really well, and I'm enjoying those parts of it. I saw a complaint about aiming not being perfectly accurate because of the laser you know without it uh, and I understand that complaint but also you get to move around now I feel like it kind of balances out it's just like a slightly different type of thing but um, this is a, a, so far I'm really enjoying this remake and I don't consider it necessarily the death of the previous one just because this exists other Resident Evil 4 can still exist they, they're both different enough and I have a lot of nostalgia for the first one and again the gameplay is ever so slightly well maybe even more than slightly different and I wouldn't necessarily not want to go back to the original so it's great that both exist I'm really happy that this game ended up good and expanding the characters in some ways but yeah excited to play more as, as I said Resident Evil 4. All right. I'll see you later, chat. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for the continued support, as I always say. Once again, I don't call out subs, but I see you and I appreciate you. Uh, but please feel free to save your money. I'm just happy people are here watching and enjoying what I do. And if you're not, well... One day, maybe. <laughs> if you're here, you're here anyway, so maybe one day. I hope you do. I'll see you guys probably Thursday. And uh, I might try to do some... There's going to be some Mario-related stuff.
couple full sauce things. <laughs> I don't know where this came from, but this uh, retro just uh, Chalmers rather posted it in chat. So, okay. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll be around. There's going to be some Mario stuff. Um, I'll do a review of the Mario movie as soon as I can when I see it and uh, more Donkey Kong Jungle Beat next week. But more Resident Evil will be Thursday as well. Uh, good night and see you whenever. Later. <laughs>